This is the order of play today. It starts with the semi-final one in the next generation, Rafa Nadal Academy against RL9, and then after that, the second semi-final for the under-21 men players, 11-11 uh, take on advantage. And then we flip-flop between the women's and the men's categories. Semi-final one for the women's is 11-11 taking on advantage. And after that, semi-final one for the men's, Rafa Nadal Academy against RL9 team. Then we switch back to the women's competition, semi-final number two. In the women's competition, Hexagon against Team Bella, who absolutely have to win that match. And uh, the final semi-final of the night is back with the men, Hexagon taking the all-conquering advantage at the moment. Lovely to have uh, Enzo Jensen and David Gala. Uh, Enzo Jensen is the brother of Claudio Jensen. That is Enzo uh, walking in front. He's in the yellow vest. Rafa Nadal Academy team. Mr. Daniel Santiagosa and Guillermo Collado. On the right of your shot there. 18 years of age, a European junior champion, incredibly fast player. Testing every point now. His first point Whoa. of the game. That is a brilliant well. winner, though, from Collado. <laughs> And there is the older of the <laughs> Jensen kids, Claudia, watching on, smiling. Let's see if they can manage this. But they're not. They're oh, not, no, they can't they're get not to it. going to it. do it. And Rafa Nadal oh. Academy leading with the first set in this amazing first semi-final of the next gen. They surrender the first set, 6-3. Rafa Nadal Academy in control. Oh. What a shot in which moment. There was two great points. Golden point now. Cold hand, we call it in Spanish. Mano fría. Person in the world would be like <laughs> shaking. <laughs> he goes and he does Nerves of steel, I think. And that is a lovely shot from, oh, what a recovery. I can't possibly Not get it back, one. can he? Well, the there is the break. There is the break. And that hands RL9 a 3-1 lead in the second set, having lost the first set. Brilliant first defense. How he gets to that is pretty remarkable, but he almost, almost does something ridiculous here. Can't quite get to his feet in time. Instead, <laughs> comes off his shoe and then ties himself in knots. Deep down the middle. Oh. Go for the winner. Yes, he did. Oh, and he's he got it. He got it. It's there, it's there. And he's Sanchez celebrates. The rest of the pairings get to their feet to applaud the antics of these two 17-year-old stars in the Amen. making, the next generation. We have a finalist already. Yes. Who Don't they me. will play remains to be seen, but they win the tie-break emphatically by 10 points to 5. Don't and now they can breathe. Gala and Jensen now embrace one another. The little man, the big man, they both played their part in a brilliant victory for the RL9 Next Generation team. We've got these two pairings. 11-11 take on Team Advantage. Opening the angles. What an amazing match we're watching here in the first two games. I'll put it away for the winner. And there it Didn't is. Work. Gratefully taken as they move into a 2 1 lead in the first set. It's the look, look, look. Woo. Alex just is looking like, why did you go forward? That much. Anyways, it's golden point and another chance for Alex and Emilio to break and go 4-1 up. And very good decision yeah, down it. the line with a very powerful smash from Emilio Chamero. Big moments in the first set. 4-1, 11-11 lead. Well, this is it. Paul Hernandez, who is just living and breathing every second on the court. Watching that ball fly over, look at what it means wow. to Hernandez. And that's not even for the match. That's to stay alive in the match. Beautiful Van Der cross court. Again. Oh, oh, that, was that was long. And, we got, and there we go. It's out, Timo Longoria. Watches on as they get the job done. And it's no less than they deserve. They demolished team advantage in the opening sets. They were squeaked out of the second set, but they have done the business as required. It's team advantage who will be taken to the court first. On the left, young Delphi Brea, and on your right, Sofia Araujo, the megastar of Padel. We know how good 
Paula Jose Maria is. What we didn't know before this Hexagon Cup is just how good her playing partner, young Ale Alonso, has proved to be. That's it, 3-0, leading team, 11-11, big troubles to advantage team at the second so stage game. of the semi-finals. And now, will she go? Will she go per tres? Oh. Per tres. <laughs> and there she goes. Difficult ball to deal with for Alonso. And, and there is the break. It's going to be 4-3, not 5-2. And that is a seismic shift in the dynamics of set two. And we do, after all, have a match on our hands. Oh, she had to reach for that, Alonso. I'm sure that ball was going in, huh? And again. What? And it's to that, to that, it's... Sofia Araujo giving the three points extra to advantage team. Fantastic match. How did that happen? How did that happen? Disappointment for Alonso and for Jose Maria, who go home as a pair. Although the team 11-11 will continue to fight for every single point that they can get. But that was a big win for Sofia Arujo and her Argentinian junior partner Delphi Brea, who can celebrate with team advantage, who claw back the three points they conceded in the previous match to Team 11 and 11, they move on to 48 points now, continue their grip on the Hexagon Cup. Alex Ruiz and Franco Stupachuk, very much the team to beat for the Rafa Nadal Academy. This is the first of the men's semi-finals. But John Santh and August Tapia have won one, lost one, and at times looked brilliant. They will be no walkover for Ruiz and Franco Stupachuk. Wow, oh, fantastic wow. reaction from Ruiz. Brilliant from Santa. Now they do have break points. They Look do have break face. points. On fire. Two John of Santh them. going forward. Oof, man. Forces Ruiz back, watches it all the way. And Not really. Hits Did it, it out. And it's 4 1 to Agustin Tapia and John Santh. No, 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 no around here, I was in Tapia said. So a little mini scare survived there from Sant and Tapia. They continue to lead in the second set. And again, and again, and Wonderful. again, I was in Tapia. Oh, oh, Ruiz spins, gets it over the line. No! Oh! oh. Almost so close, so close. So close. And a glance of sympathy there almost from Tapia, but 5-2 it is. This is Hexagon Cup. Doesn't matter if you are 5-0, 1-0, 7-0. <laughs> Tiebreak is coming for sure. Race to 10. Stupachok and Ruiz liked that one, didn't they? Those little mistakes. What it makes the difference in this match. Papelito will reach it. Yes, of course he did. Look, he's going out, he's going out. He reaches that ball. Oh! My goodness! Wow, 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 wow! Shot. Oh, we have to see Ruiz. that again. He was flying through the air. Look, 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 look at this, look, look, look at this. Look, 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 look. Reaching for it. Wow! Straight to the net, and that ball is in. <laughs> and a somersault to celebrate. They got to win this, and they there, there we go, there we go, and all the tension comes flooding out, and they can finally celebrate. Three more points to the Academy team. And Reese. Get the job done. Tapia and Sant came back hard at them, but were blown away in the tiebreak. Well deserved. We got to say, yeah? Well deserved for Alex Ruiz and Estupa too, who played a better match. So, next on, the second women's semi final. Hexagon, represented by Alejandra Salazar and Tamara Icardo, 
and they are up against Team Bella, the only pairing from Team Bella to make it through to Saturday's action. Bea Gonzalez and young Claudia Fernandez from Madrid. They got chances to play high lobs like these, you know, and to recover and go back. Great volley, and approaching from back to forward in that transition from Claudia Fernandez. Great point. And the first golden point. It's a scrappy game, this one at the moment. Both pairings making a lot of errors. Wow! Wow, Bea! Oh, yes, she's Richard. got there. Fernandez gets there. No, Bea Gonzalez is an absolute different level at the moment. She's performing. What a point. No, whoa, 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 unbelievable. Look at the ball was in just by an inch. Both what a point. probing, trying to find that weakness. That is a oh, shot. lovely shot from Fernandez. <laughs> Salazar the equal to it. There's the moment for Gonzalez to get the man for the, the point one. Fantastic point from this girl and her partner, Claudia Fernandez. Ah, there we go, there we go, that tells its story. Oh, Team Hexagon move now to within a game of coming back and taking the first set just when Bella were poised to win it. I have no idea. The momentum swings in this match have been fascinating. They are in every match, really. Every single match so far has gone to a super tiebreak as that ball sails out from Gonzalez. And that's oh. a lovely shot from Fernandez. That opens it. it up. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There it is. Surely it it's hanging in the air. What it's is this? It's not there. It's not there. What is that? Fernandez keeps the minute. Fernandez again oh. down the middle. There's the winner. <laughs> oh. Absolutely for magic. Golden point. <laughs> Vicious from Salazar. Yes, a little bit too much power in that shot. But now. <gasps> yeah. Now look at Gonzalez. She can't quite believe yeah. that. She didn't hit the ball properly, but she hit Claudia properly. Stay. Stay. Backhandeja. <laughs> Backhandeja from Tamari Cardo. A risky shot from Claudia. Oh, that's wonderfully played. Amazing. Oh, she's got that, Salazar. No There's the no winner. Way. How hard Look what did Claudia Fernandez have to work to manufacture that winner? Who's going to win this long rally? Super important point ahead. Ale Salazar is oh, in the Oh, mistake house. is there, and Salazar. Madrid down to her feet, her partner down to her feet, and hexagon, the Hexagon Cup team down to her feet. 40 love up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She it's wanted that too much. When, when they were waiting for, you know, and now who's going to ask for the return? Alejandra Salazar. If she wins the point, it'll be 5-3. If she loses, it's all over. Oof, what a lob. What a recover. Ooh, they almost hit each other. Yeah. Wow. Class power. response from Bear Gondales. <laughs> Very good shot. They're still alive. Smiles They're all around. 5 3. Fernandez to Salazar. Fernandez, Salazar. Yes, and they did. Yes, they did. And they are the finalists.
of this fantastic event against Delphi Brea and Sofia Araujo tomorrow. Very, very well done from Tamara Cardo and Alejandra Salazar. Hexagon team, female team in the final. Thank you, Bea Gonzalez and Claudia Fernandez for competing in this fantastic event. We're getting into the vibe and so too are the crowd. Great stuff. It all adds to the carnival atmosphere. And the players are in the tunnel waiting for the marching band to complete their circuit of the Hexagon Cup court. So just confirmation of the last match remaining. It'll be Juan Martin, the 48-year-old, against his new partner, replacing Paquito Navarro, who had to withdraw yesterday through illness, Momo Gonzalez. And they take on Martin Dineno and Juan Teo of Team Advantage. It's going to be an absolute cracker. Don't go anywhere. Hi, team. It's Andy. Um, I just wanted to say great job to all of you so far in the tournament. Um, I see you top of the table right now. And yeah, I just wanted to wish you all the best for the last few days. Good luck, and I'll be watching and supporting. Forward he goes, Juan Martin now making his way to the net. Teo trying to force him back. Oh, my goodness. Well, at some point, I'm sure we'll be able to analyse the speed that these players are smashing the ball. But that might have set a new high tide mark in the Hexagon Cup. There we go. First break with a little unforced error from Juan Martin Diaz. Lovely drop shot there. Attempted drop shot. Great bandeja Huge. down the line. It's like every shot from Juan Martin. It seems to be risky for any person in the world, unless for a guy called Juan Martin Diaz. Oh. Look, oh. almost. Messi, 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 Messi. <laughs> Stop the ball, Messi. 30-40 still. Ah. One Jesus. break point oh. remains as we move After to golden goes. points. I think Momo goes. So set point, break point, and golden point, all in one. How he decides what to do. Bandeja down the line, down the line from Juan Martin. <laughs> and again. Whoa! Oh, there we go! There we go! It's five each! They're five back in five. the game! Mm. in, Momo Gonzalez and the smash yes, is there. Is huge. Oh, no. oh, 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 oh. Where's that? Ties him up. No, man, Reaches. listen. No, we're There's watching the, yeah, something Yeah, that's else. the winner, that's we are the winner. Something else. That's the winner. Break points, golden points. Can they take it to level things up and take it back on serve in this second set? Look oh. at that, look at that, look at that. Oh. Oh. The cleverest. <laughs> the on the match. Still alive! Very well played. It's a sorry to Dineno and to Teo because that shot down to the feet. It's a match point for Dineno and Teo, and perhaps this could be the last point of Juan Martin Diaz, the legend of the legend in one paddle court. It's a very special moment for the history of paddle in the center of this fantastic Hexagon Cup. And this could happen, and, and it did are. happen. Very the well moment done. is complete. Very well done to Advantage team. Thank you, Juan Martin Diaz. Thank you for your respect. Thanks for ever, ever, everything what you've done for the sport of paddle. We're going to miss you as no one else in the world. Thank you very much, Juan Martin Diaz. All my respect to this fantastic, magical player. Juan Teo and Martin Dineno destroyed them once again in the tie-break, the super tie-break, all theirs. 10-1, they win it. They take their place in the final.